Okay, now we're back in GarageBand, and this time we're not just going to do an audio, but we're going to create a loop. So under File, New Project, instead of clicking on Podcast like we did last time, let's click on Loop. You can either double click or highlight it by a single click and then click Choose. Again, you'll have to title it. So let's call this Summer Loop, and I will save it to my desktop so I know where it's at. Again, we won't mess with the keys or the tempo or things like that. So click Create. Okay, once again, if you don't see the Loops browser window, in this case, click on it so you can see it. That's down in your lower right-hand corner. Click on that so you get this view. Now, yours may not look like this. It depends on which, which uh, button you've clicked or is highlighted for you. This is the column view, that's a musical button view, and a podcast song view. So let, let's just click on the music one this time. Okay, now what you should see upon doing that are all sorts of various buttons. I won't obviously read them all. Country, guitars, piano, and by clicking on each one of those, You'll be able to listen to various beats that Apple has provided for you. So let's just look at, uh, let's click on beats here. And now by clicking on beats down below, I have all sorts of various beats. And to listen to them again, as always, you can double click on them and just single click to stop. And you can scroll through these and listen to the various beats. Okay, and it scrolls down for quite a while. Okay, let's try the Deep House dance beat. Okay, so if that's the one you want to start with, you can simply click and drag it and put it up in your project. And now you can see that by pressing spacebar you can now get a little visual representation of your beat now that we have a beat that we have selected and if I want to be able to see more of my screen here and I want to get rid of this browser window I will go down to the bottom right and click on the browser or the loop button and that closes and opens the browser so now I have more space now if I want this dance beat to repeat if I click on it if I get my cursor just in the right area in the top right there you see that loop that arrow that circles back around now if I have my correct beat selected in the proper area I can click and drag this out and as I'm dragging it to the right it's repeating the beat because maybe I want it to repeat three times Notice I'm a little bit over three here, so I'll go back to three. So now it will repeat three times. Z to get back to the beginning, spacebar to play it. And spacebar to stop. Now let's say we want to add something to it. Let's go back to our loop browser, and let's click on reset, and let's add something to it. I'm not really sure what, how about a guitar? So by clicking on guitars, it brings up all the various guitar items below. And I can scroll through here and double click and look and listen. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to go down here to classic rock. Okay, how about edgy rock? All right, let's say that's the one I want. Let's drag it up here and put it in its own line. And let's just hear how this edgy rock guitar sounds with our Deep House dance beat. Z to get back to the beginning and spacebar. Spacebar to stop. Doesn't sound too bad. 
So if I want this to match, I go up to the top right hand, so I get this loop, and I can drag it out. Let's say maybe I only want it to go two. So now at this point, the edgy rock guitar will stop. Now that we have a beat and an and an electric guitar, let's click reset. And let's find something else to put in there. Maybe a bass. Let's go down to classic rock on the bass. Okay. Let's add that one in there. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to do that. Let's look at the alternative rock one. Ooh, no. I don't like that. 80s? <laughs> the bass synthesizer. Let's put that one in there. Let's let's not start that one at the beginning. Let's start this one out here somewhere. Let's see how that sounds. Z to the beginning, spacebar. Can't hardly hear that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn down the electric guitar. I think it's too loud. I want to be able to hear this. So I'll turn up my my synthesizer bass. Let's hear let's hear how that sounds. Notice how now I can hear that. So let's drag that out like that. You can see how it starts to build on itself. And you can create your own loop for your own project. As always with GarageBand, you will have to save this. So now that we've done some changes, make sure that you go to File, Save, or Command S. Do that often so you don't lose your stuff. And once you have your loop created and you're satisfied with it, there are several things that you can do with it. Let's go to Share. Under Share, you can send it to iTunes. You can export that song or you can burn it to a CD or whatever it is that you think that you need to do to it or depends on really where it is you're going to send it or how you're going to use it later. And then when you're done, when you go to quit GarageBand under GarageBand, quit GarageBand, again as before, you'll get this. Do you want to save your project with an iLife preview? I always say yes to this. That way I can see this when I'm in iMovie or other places on my Mac. The iLife signifies that all those other applications that consist or make up iLife will be able to see it. So I say yes.